Hey guys, it's the Friction here, Tiger Tank 1 2, however you call me, I don't really care. And welcome back to World of Tanks Weekly, where we are going to be talking about some of the changes and news that are about World of Tanks that have happened in the last week. There is a lot of stuff that we have to cover, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna see that we can keep it at 10 minutes, and I think we're gonna be starting with the biggest. Um, update right here and that is actually the next patch that is coming 1.10 that is the big patch and this big patch will contain vehicle rebalancing new battle communications new bond mechanics which we'll all discuss uh, in depth just in a second pearl river the return of the map and steel hunter which um, is going to be lasting until december of um, 2020 and uh, where you can actually get those tokens to get the next um, tier 9 reward vehicle so right here the very first thing pro river it's coming back it looks amazing check out the video i'm not going to be talking too much about it if you have never played pro river um yeah it's going to be quite an event uh, very cool map and i liked it very much but i think the biggest change the most controversial change in patch 1.10 will be the vehicle rebalancing change that is coming. They are going to be rebalancing quite a few things. First and foremost, wheeled vehicles will be rebalanced. Yes, they're going to be finally rebalancing wheeled vehicles. They will um, Increase right here there are two points two bulletin points right here increase the reduction in speed caused by suspension damage uh, Slightly reduce the firepower and mobility of some wheeled uh, scouts. So basically what they're going to be doing is um, They're going to be balancing the speed of the tanks. They will be reduced um, I think the EPR 105 will be a lot slower or it will be slower when you hit it and you damage one of its uh, wheels and um, it is a first change we're not going to be certain if it's enough but we'll just have to see then the next change that will be coming is that they're going to be nerfing the italians the m65 the pochetto the tier 10 and the standard b i have no idea why they're doing this because i had the feeling that those two tanks were in a pretty good area they're like fan favorites um it's wargaming they're kind of weird I don't really see the point of this change, um, but what they're going to be doing is they're going to be increasing the, the gun dispersion in between um, shells when you're firing. They will um, increase the aim time and the turret traverse will be reduced, which is it's kind of a bummer. The object 430 and the 430U will actually be nerfed as well. They will reduce the amount of armor on the cupolas, which... Okay, I guess, yeah, that's pretty damn good. We need some less armor on those things, but maybe it will not be enough on the uh, 430U, um, because I think you still need um, premium shells to go through that thing, even on the cupola. So yeah, they will also decrease the um, dispersion when, um, or increase the dispersion when moving and traversing the turret. So that's a good thing that is coming. Then there are also going to be some changes to heavy tanks, but we'll look into those statistics just in a second. But first and foremost, we're going over to battle communications. These battle communications will be changed. We'll have a more thorough system where we can communicate with our peers. And um, we're going to take a look at that real fast. And uh, we're just going to take a look at the, the changes. You can actually now interact with the map. This is something that I would have loved to see very long time ago. And um, I'm just going to show you guys the new symbols right here. Um, because I think they're self-explanatory. You can see um, the pinpoint. Now you can actually put the pinpoint right on the place. So you know where something is. And um, there's also this attention to the map, um, this warning sign right here that you can ping. Um, then you see artillery when um, artillery is aiming. So that's pretty damn interesting. Right here we have a little gif. Um, right here you can 
as always use T. I think before that it was Y that you used, like, and you could have you have had like several different options like reloading or like I need help um, and uh, yeah, like engaging a certain target. But right now you can see that uh, you can also ping out that you're driving to the position, that attention to the position so that people are actually wary or know that something might be there. And like request fire that we had already previously. Um, but it's, it's damn good to have more choices right here. And also to thank somebody, that's a very good, good idea. Um, when you're aiming at a, a teammate, you can tell them to help me um, and to retreat so you don't have to type it into the chat. And there are always going to be uh, some quick commands, the keys for that, um, but not for everything right here. But it is a good change. It's something that was certainly needed. Having comms rework is a very nice thing. Moving on, the next big change will be for the uh, revamped bond mechanics. And um, this time around, earning bonds is going to be different. You are no longer going to be earning bonds from special achievements such as like invader on the, uh, all these different battle like hero achievements that you were able to uh, unlock but now you'll actually get them in tier 10 games by just playing your tier 10 vehicles it's going to be the same system as we currently have on the seasonal um you know the, the season pass uh, where you actually have like 50, uh, you can get 50 bonds of a tank per day, or no, per week, as it says right here. And um, if you win a battle and you're in the top three, you're gonna get seven bonds. If you lose a battle and you're in the top three, you get five bonds. So you're going to be able to uh, accumulate quite a few bonds if you just play tier 10 the entire time. And um, you can see Wargaming are trying to make us get more bonds or play tier 10s more so that we actually unlock these bonds and that we can get like special equipment that we can special vehicles and uh, that's all pretty interesting if we move on there's actually another part there are going to be new reward vehicles coming um in the game or that you can actually unlock for bonds they are already in the game but you can see in 2021 like that will be now, maybe till the next year, we can get the IS-5 for 10,000 bonds. That used to be a um, Clan Wars report tank. A KV-4 Kreslovsky, same as the IS-5, a tier 10, uh, no, it's a tier 8 Clan Wars report tank. The IS-6 Black, the Chrysler KGF and the M46 Pat Korea. So this is all pretty damn interesting. Um, it allows a lot more people to get premium vehicles, also like quite unique ones. Um, you know, for bonds, in-game currency that you cannot buy, it's a good thing. And I think people will be enjoying that very, very much. So next, moving on, Steel Hunter is coming back. And this time around, Steel Hunter will have some additional um, things involved so we get a new map as you can see right here uh, i'm not entirely sure what the map is called uh four separate stages that map is called yeah no idea but we get a new map and you can see it's quite interesting um it has a riverbed it has several different little towns and some crossings with bridges it's going to be a feast um it's probably going to be the same layout with uh, squares and not a circle uh, where the squares like the the, uh, the play area will be shrunk from time to time but there will be some changes let's take a look at these changes there are going to be five special vehicles instead of three um, French and the British will actually make it into the game as well and every single vehicle will have a unique role and um, there's going to be tier 1 to tier 7 and the French and the uh, the French are good scouts. The British and the Soviets are good attacking vehicles. The Americans and the Germans are very defensive, ba def de defensively based vehicles. And um, there will be less ranks, only ranks from uh, one to fifteen. And you will no longer lose your level if you're playing bad. 
So if you have a bad battle performance, it will not actually have any negative impact on that. So that's pretty damn cool. And the new map is Arzagir 4.04. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. So moving on, if we uh, look right here, Steel Hunter, there are some uh, new releases for the tanks are becoming. Uh, you can see the Raven right here. Uh, it looks quite interesting. Then the T20. Um, they're gonna. I think they added a little bit more of side skirts, um, more protection on the vehicle. They still look super fucked up. This is the British one. Um, it looks like a Churchill turret on. Uh, I don't even know. Is it a a Cromwell hull? The Valkyrie, which looks like a VK, on another VK. And then we have the, the French, the AMC 35, which looks like the uh, Amex 13, uh, the Amex, uh, what was it called? Um, not the 1390, but the Amex 90, I think. I'm not sure. I forgot about that already. Uh, it's pretty damn cool. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I'll be informing you guys as soon as that is coming in. Um, then we have some more changes to the statistics, the characteristics vehicles that will be buffed and you can see the Germans will be buffed. Um, the Italians will be nerfed, as I already mentioned. Uh, they will add the Polish vehicle to the super test, the CS-52 that's a premium. Um, there are going to be some changes to the Soviet vehicles, as you can see right here, the KB line, the KB-3, the ST-1, the KB-4 and the IS-4 will get some love. They'll be um, buffed a little bit, um, but all these changes, also the, the buffing or the uh, strengthening of the American heavies that will take part, the T-32, the M-103 and the T-110-11, uh, T-110-E5. We're going to be talking about this in a separate video um, because I'm going to be jumping on the test server very soon and I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of gameplay that is coming down the line. So that should wrap it up for this week. Um, just a little uh, input right here. They're also going to be changing the rank battles of the season 20, uh, 20, 2021. But I'm not really a big fan of rank battles, so I haven't really gotten that invested in it. But the new tier 9 vehicle that you'll be able to unlock is going to be the Concept 1D. Uh, it's an American heavy tank, the one uh, without a real turret, just a gun. And they're also going to be reducing the ranks from 15 down to 10. Um, other than that, you have several divisions and chevrons. And um, yeah, there are going to be bonus battles and daily bonus battles where you can actually get like double the amount of chevrons in one game. Um, and uh, yeah, there are also going to be some missions to that. But I'm not a big fan of ranked, to be fair. Maybe it's because of the time difference, never really gotten into it that much, but um, we have already went three minutes over the timer and I'd say let's finish this up and um, I'll see you guys on the next one next week.